y'all he was treating me well then remember i said i started to peep that he was paying less and asking for more so i started pulling back and distancing myself it disappeared but they were asking do a meetup they said you have three options with me you can do face to face a photo shoot or have sex with me so basically get me in in front of you which i don't i told him i was like listen I'm only virtual, that's all it is. It's a virtual fantasy. I don't do any type of personal link-ups, meetups, none of that. If you want somebody to sleep with, hire an escort. You know, they actually put themselves out there for that type of sex work, so you're not gonna force one sex worker to force herself into an area she's not comfortable in or doesn't choose to do because you want your way, basically. So they got an attitude and they were like, I wish you would have told me from the beginning, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. I was like, oh, wow. And he was like, yeah, thank you. I already met some webcam models. That was the goal. You don't have to worry about me messaging. I wish you said this in your bio. It would have saved me time. Like, why would you assume you... Y'all tired. <laughs> I was like, you promised to see to yourself. That was your first problem. You can unfriend. I see you're the type of man that turns vicious when he doesn't get his way. That's very unattractive. Instead of being grateful and acknowledging that you had a good time thus far, you're attempting to invalidate your entire experience because you didn't get your way. That's the behavior of a child. I only engage with adults because they had a great time. That's the energy that be blowing me. Because not you throwing a whole fit because you didn't get your way because you don't get to meet up with me in person. I don't do link ups. I don't do meetups. I'm getting off on the fact that I'm a virtual fantasy. <laughs> Emphasis on the virtual. Motherfuckers are scary out here. I don't want to be outside. Anyways, yeah, they threw a whole ass fit because I didn't agree to any type of link up. And then they were basically like, you were a waste of time the whole time. And I was like, yeah, you were getting off, calling me your queen, this and the third, spending all your coin on me. And now it's like, that's what I'm saying. You cannot have any type of weak mentality to cam i'm saying this to the young girls i know 18 year old me wouldn't have been ready to do this like people will pressure you and gaslight you into thinking you have to do shit because they want it and they think they're getting their way it's the fact that you think you did me a favor i'm sorry this shit is transactional you paid me you got a show you paid me you got content you always get something in return it's the fact that you think because you paid me you're basically saying you feel like i don't deserve it like it's like okay yeah i'm tipping you but this is a favor and you should be so grateful and be on your knees begging and that's not the case you're providing an experience you're providing content you're providing pleasure and that deserves to get compensated i don't understand what's so hard to comprehend bro this is crazy one out the door one in the door because it's like shit gets put in perspective like when you have people not only come sh recognize your worth and appreciate it and show you that they appreciate it i'll always be grateful for any little amount if somebody tips me a token which is like five cents i'm grateful but if you're gonna turn around and throw any amount in my face we have a problem <sighs> like literally just pay an escort if you don't support sex work for real just say that just say that pay an escort that, that's literally what they advertise for i get it but i don't like that type of energy i don't because it's like that's giving obsession like no i could pay an escort but i have to have you but you don't get me in that way because I set that boundary. Why is that so hard to understand? Anyways, y'all, I'm about to log off. Today was hella slow. Still sitting pretty comfortable with the queen, but I did skip out on food delivery. I'm about to go make some food and fall asleep. I put on a hella good show today. And I told him too, I was like, I'd rather enjoy myself for free and just know that some freeloaders got off on watching a show than sit here and deal with demands or gaslighting because I didn't want to link. Excuse the fuck out of me. I don't know who you're talking to, but it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. The money's going into my account. It takes a couple days to process. I was just saying, like, I made within a week what I make in a month at the warehouse miserable and depressed. So, you know, good beginnings and whatnot. Mm 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 mm. Set your boundaries, baby. Set your boundaries and do not let nobody try to set them for you. But yeah. Alright, bye. Sleep well. Good night. Kisses. Y'all, I'm about to go to bed. I'm filming on my other phone. But I just wanted to say, like, I hate to switch up. I do. Because it's just bully behavior. You basically didn't get your way. So you're trying to guilt trip somebody into getting your way. By invalidating the whole experience or being rude or cruel to them. Or, oh, fuck you, this and the third, blah, blah, blah. We all know that energy. Where if it's working for somebody, they're enjoying it until it's not working anymore. They're not getting more. And it's like, actually, this is how I really feel about you. And it's like, why were you here? If you felt that way the whole time, why were you here in the first place? But I'm gonna just say, 
be as careful as you can um for real for real i just keep thinking about like impressionable young girls and just hoping they're able to protect themselves and i also realize that that's why some people especially grown men don't want to fuck with grown women it's a lot of them can see through bullshit like this young girls might be like oh my god i feel bad oh this that and the third like mm -mm, baby girl there's no reason to feel bad somebody's trying to hurt your feelings somebody's trying to set your boundaries for you according to their own desires and how they want to be satisfied like oh you must need more money oh i could pay you more and this that and the third or you look like you need the queens or whatever it is don't let nobody play you i'll put on a free show before i start taking demands that i'm not comfortable with or i'll just log off because if the chat is dry so am i but what i'm not gonna sit here and do is deal with adult bullies also the ex i was talking about earlier the other other ex went from being on the phone talking about business meetings to talking about trying to get me to go to dinner or link up or whatever and then of course full cycle came back to it's nighttime. will you slide you gonna come stay with me so i think i'm just feeling a little flustered because it's like i know that i'm getting off on the fact that i'm not letting anybody touch me or be with me except for my ex the main ex and that said it's just like i'm not gonna settle for less i'm not but it's tired and annoying to deal with that's all it is and that's why you just have to be careful of who you allow access to you because you don't have to message people back you don't have to talk to them you don't owe them anything you don't owe them response an explanation nothing and i know you might want to explain for your own sake you might want to cuss them out you might want to talk to them you might want to discuss whatever it might be but you have to decide if you're ready for that because it might be doing more harm than good so yeah i had the other other ex talking about them oh you gonna come chill with me tonight this and the third had the dude off of camming throwing a whole ass attitude and i'm just like and i know i'm deserving of the type of love that i would like to see in my life but i am going to say that i'm grateful that my ex is growing and he's acknowledging where he can do better and where we could both do better and we're both working on it and he actually is a gentleman about a lot of things now that he's growing more and i do appreciate that there are a lot of genuine vibes there outside of just the intimacy and the sexual stuff because when you have people out here just horny i need to meet you i need to touch you you need to slide like anyways it's the fact that people think they're entitled to touch you that blows me you don't get to touch me and if you're gonna violate that boundary or the fact that i set that boundary then you don't get to talk to me either <sighs> you could look at me through a screen and just know i exist somewhere out there in the world but It's just the extent of which people will grow through just trying to link with you trying to touch you some guys will spend more money on the substances to get you fucked up to try to get you to f than actually spending time getting to know you if that doesn't tell you enough about the world we live in and why sex sells i don't know what to tell you i don't and then they want to get mad like women only want money no we are tired of our time being wasted we're tired of being harassed we're tired of being scared insulted whatever it might be so yeah at this point pay a bill i get it bro i finally get it at this point pay a motherfucking bill because you're definitely not paying me no type of respect it's a very manipulative manner to go about things and i'm not dealing with them on this episode of Nice Guys Not Being Very Nice, we learned that you are not responsible for the full satisfaction of someone's hidden agenda or secret fantasy they have while interacting with you that they believe you're supposed to fulfill. And if they think that being kind and generous to you was a waste of their time while interacting with you, you need to kick them to the curb. If I have a fantasy about you giving me a million dollars and you don't, who do I get to be mad at? oh i it's about to rain i'm about to go do food delivery i really don't want to but i'm trying to keep the hustle up i'm about to have like one case sitting in my bank which is gonna be great and it's all about to go to bills again but i just don't want to get too comfortable also i gotta get my vaccine tomorrow and i'm about to have a very bad period so i'm not trying to sit around for like those days out of commission even now my coochie do feel like it's about to be cut in half show this is me continuing the hustle habits even though i feel like i don't need to hustle right now in this moment
proud of me good job girl i also think i'm gonna plan a little surprise thing a little getaway from me and my best bro he does help me film and he does not get a cut of anything because i've talked about this before but i'm putting in all the work and doing all the promoting and putting myself out here as a sex worker and this and a third and dealing with all of it also ladies be careful of letting these men manage or share your page they could start their own if they want to and you got this baby that's yours but he's the only one i want to work with as a business partner so yeah i know he's kind of going through it he's having some work related like depression because i know it all too well i really do and now that things are looking up a little bit more for me i know he has looked out in the past so i would like to look out for both of us something we could do together get away enjoy ourselves and yeah I think that'd be nice. Still gonna watch my back, cause this is what happens. I get caught up, I get distracted, I forget, and then I get all lovey-dovey and then I get hurt. But right now things have been like pretty good between us and I'ma just keep focusing on myself. That was the problem before I was caught up and I was only focusing on him or us or you know how he made me feel and always wanting to feel like that oh let's smoke let's let's go watch anime and lay up in bed all day together there's real life out here to tend to for both of us so i love the fact that we are both living our lives individually we know that the other person is still there a facetime call away a drive away a smoke session away whatever it might be i am my own first priority and i hope that he is his own first priority which is great because when i love i tend to love obsessively and it's not healthy and i thought i wanted somebody to love me obsessively back but I realize I also want somebody who's gonna focus on themselves just as much as they focus on me. And I'm gonna just keep working on myself. Nice, we got a plan. All right, let's go do it.